Hi guys, Alexi here, and I'm here to teach you guys a little bit about softball today. I'm going to teach you about the pitching and the physics of hitting as well. Um, other subjects in softball are pretty hard to explain and things that I haven't learned yet, so we're definitely going to start off with hitting today. So as you can see here, I have a bat. It's a 32 drop 10. It's one of the lightest bats you can use in softball, especially in fast pitch. But in slow pitch, a heavier bat is usually better. So in the bat, you can tell there's a barrel and there's an end and then a grip and the top of the barrel. In this, you always wanna hit the ball off 17 meters into the center of the bat is every, almost every bat's sweet spot. My sweet spot on my bat is here, so if I hit it here, it will make a very good sound and will go the furthest that it can. My bat's different with the physics of it because it has a vibration stopper here and here, which then after the ball hits off, it expands to here and here, and then bounces back in, giving more energy into the ball after I hit it. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of clips of me hitting and explain more about Newton's first law there. So as I said earlier, Newton's first law is the main law that affects batting. An object in motion tends to stay in motion until acted upon by an outside force. So when the pitcher releases the ball, it goes towards where she releases it, and then the batter hits the ball, changing its direction and speed. If you hit the ball in your sweet spot, which I explained earlier, your reaction force will always be equal to zero. And as you can see here, I add a lot of momentum to my hit by turning my hips, getting my hands straight to the ball, and obviously increasing your arm strength will help as well. Um, but every batter has their different stance and it affects their hitting all differently. So I hope you guys got the physics of hitting. I feel like I explained it pretty well, but if you guys have questions, you can ask me after. Um, so next we're gonna move right on to pitching. Pitching isn't really my forte, but I'm gonna explain it anyway. So pitching is a pitcher's velocity, which equals the force applied by the pitcher times the distance that the ball travels. Um, to explain this more, every pitcher does force differently, and I'm going to show you a quick video of me pitching even though I'm not the best at it, um, to show the basics of what affects the pitching and how it affects this equation. Guys, as I said before, I'm not the best pitcher, but you can get the basic idea here. So, it explains, this equation explains why pitchers use a windmill windup, because the, through the entire windmill windup, they are accelerating the ball to make it go faster. And so... The ball basically is accelerating into the windup until it releases the pitcher's hand. And then once it releases the pitcher's hand, gravity and air resistance slash wind resistance um, s start to slow the ball down. But since it's such a short distance, the catcher will catch it before it hits the ground, hopefully. Um, the direction of the ball is affected by the way you turn your hips. Um, I don't do a very good job of this, but turning your hips is the way the ball or like the direction of the ball will usually go. So finally, you add like force to it by either stepping off the mound or just flicking more with your wrist or just taking a quicker wind up. Pitchers all do it different ways to add force. I added force by stepping off the mound and pushing off of it once I did that, and by rocking my hips back and so, forth. So anyways, I hope you guys learned a lot. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. And you guys should definitely try softball. It's really fun. And honestly, softball is a sport of physics. Sorry I didn't know it all, but I hope you guys got the basics of hitting and pitching. Thanks.